The town of Bristol is a veritable metropolis compared with its sleepy neighbor Lincoln, where only a general store and church anchor the village center. Lincoln is an iconic Vermont village of a thousand people and change. One of my favorite days of the year is the first Monday night in March when we all converge on that building right there for our town meeting. Chris Bojalian has lived here since 1986 when he and his wife, artist Victoria Bluer, fled Brooklyn for rural tranquility. But the fact is, it can seem awfully, awfully quiet. That's just fine with Bojalian, who needs ample time alone with his thoughts. He's the best-selling author of 13 novels, many of them set in Vermont. Novelists talk with an agonizing amount of hubris about finding their voice. But the fact is, I found my voice here in Addison County in Lincoln, Vermont. I never would have written a book like Midwives about a midwife on trial for manslaughter after a home birth gone wrong had I remained in New York City. Midwives was an Oprah book club selection in 1998, casting Bojalian once and probably forever into that rare pantheon of bankable novelists. Vermont, of course, is no stranger to successful writers. On Bojalian's shelves are at least 250 books penned by Vermonters. First of all, Vermont has more writers per capita than any state in the country. Because the state is so small, he says he can easily research the serious topics that dominate his work and have direct relevance to Vermont life. The environment, race, homelessness, and domestic violence. Everyone knows everyone in Addison County. I can always find quote unquote experts to learn whatever I need to learn for a book. His latest novel, Secrets of Eden, focuses on a Vermont murder-suicide and a pastor's former affair with the victim, another of his dark explorations of the Green Mountain State. I mean, I've never gotten a fruit basket from the state of Vermont travel and tourism. Still waiting. But I think that Vermonters understand that sometimes it's a gray state. Sometimes the days seem really short and people behave really badly. And as a novelist, I will jump all over that. Now, Bajalian is not always right about struggle and tragedy. He says he finds a great deal of humor and reflection in his own daily life, and much of that makes it into his weekly newspaper column.